Hi, and welcome to 32 SOPS demonstration of the Item Site Planning Excel Loader. This loader displays all the data fields on every screen of the Item Site Planning Maintenance menu 1.4.17. This is an efficient and productive tool to manage your items individually or for multiple records. To get started, you need to open up the Excel Loader program and select the correct database. Hit the Setup button, find your database, and select. The box is highlighted in yellow allows you to search for data by site, item number range, product line range, or by item type. If you leave search fields open, it will download all items. Once your search parameters have been entered, you can select the download button, and a login screen appears which uses QAD security to validate your user ID. So let's log in. The sheet now displays all items according to your search criteria. As this is an Excel sheet, it will have all functionalities of Excel, so you can delete any lines you do not want. So let's delete these lines. If you want to look up individual items, you can clear the sheet by selecting the Clear button, and then enter in specific search parameters. In this instance, we will do an item number range. Once done, Hit the download button, and the sheet now displays the data according to your search criteria. All the columns highlighted in yellow are writable. You can change any of the data fields within those columns. In this example, we will change the safety stock level for this purchase item, as well as the purchase lead time. We can also change the manufacturing lead time for this manufactured item as well as the yield percentage. Once you have reviewed your data, you can hit the Upload button, and it will now upload into QAD. A pop-up screen will be displayed showing the status of your upload and will indicate whether the upload is successful or not. As all data fields are validated against QAD, errors in any cell will be highlighted. So let's try to enter an item number that does not exist in Item Master. The Upload Status window will display the error message and highlight the cell with the error. You will have to fix the cell with the error before you can upload back into the system successfully. We'll just delete this line. As this is real-time, changes are immediate and you can see what is currently in QAD by clearing the sheet and retrieving a fresh download. As you can see, the changes that we made to the safety stock level for this purchase item, as well as the purchase lead time, manufacturing lead time, and yield is now reflected in QAD. This is a great tool to view and edit your item numbers and is an efficient way to make changes to multiple records quickly. You can get additional information about this and other productivity tools by emailing us at contact at 32soft.com. Thank you.